Hi everyone, in this video, we're going to learn how to set up case autoresponse rules. So there are two prerequisites that we need before we start setting it up. One, which is for this case, email to case must be set up so that when a person sends an email to the service address to create a case that it is done. So I'm just going to show you. So I've already set it up using the configurations and this is the service email address. And also I've already created a template to use along with the required merge tag so that when a case is created, that that email can be sent. So now once you're in the backend, search for response rules. So once you're here, click on new. <clears throat> let's call it email response so what this response is supposed to do is whenever a person creates a case uh, through an email we are going to send up a message that the case has been created so i'm just going to make it active and you have to ensure that there are no other rules which are currently active because for a case or a lead only one rule each can be active at the same time. So if I make this active, the other rules which are already existing are automatically deactivated. So I'm just going to save this. And I'm gonna, now that that's created, we need to create rule entries. So rule entries is how Salesforce checks where, what, when to send out an auto response. So in this scenario, I'm just going to call it sort order is so since we can have multiple rule entries, Salesforce will check according to the sort order, which one to evaluate first. And as soon as one of the criteria meets, it sends out and the task is finished. So in this case, I'm going to select the field case origin equals, and I'm just gonna pick email. So what this does is whenever a case is created through email, this response rule gets sent out. So I'm gonna add a name. So this is like the from details. So from what email address and what names the email goes through. So I'm just gonna call it customer support. And I'm just gonna give an email address. Make sure this email is different from the one in the email to case. You cannot use the same one. And reply to address, it can be the same. And in place of email template, I'm just going to select one. I had already created earlier. So yeah, this has the uh, merge tags and the text that is required. So I'm going to save this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of my emails. And this is the service address from the email to case, like copying that and let me add a subject. I'm going to copy the same in the description. Now I'm going to send this email so let's see if the case has been created and if the email to case has been set up correctly if else obviously you're not going to get an auto response rule so okay now we can see over here that a new case has been created with the details that i had put in uh, in the email that I had created earlier and I'm going to go back to the email and if you look at this I have an email that was received and this is the auto response rule that I received which I had created earlier it had it has the case number and since the contact doesn't have a name it doesn't pull out that merge tag um, this is just a text email template we can also add an HTML or a custom template and make it more elaborate and that's how you set up an auto response rule for case. It can also be done for web to lead forms and include 
different criteria so it's not just for email this can be done with a lot of things thank you